three of them in Turkish, and uh, the other three in English, but after like one week, uh, two weeks, uh, the professor told to me and other students, okay, we can finish the lesson here and you can study that long. And so for me, it, mm, it wasn't useful to study here. Mm, I made only presentation or I wrote an essay. So um, I learned something, but was um, the same topic, were the same topics of my previous university. In the second semester, it uh, was useful because I found two, uh, two um, English courses about Middle East, about the political and the social structure of this, um, this part of uh, the world. And it uh, was really nice because um, I learned something new, that in my university we don't have courses about Middle East. And also, is, uh, I decided to, to write my thesis uh, in, uh, about Turkey, about the, the economic development of Turkey. So um, I found um, many books about this topic. And uh, for my degree, for the degree of my master, is, is OK and uh, it's perfect to, to study here. I study to, to not a uh, normal university because it's Karan uh, Bukuru, so in the military academy. And uh, for me, it's, uh, it's different because in Italy I study in a normal university, so I have a normal class, you go and you miss professor. And here I study in a master course. So uh, the difference is uh, you study with a military guy. So uh, it, it's not like the students that you get to uh, um, meet uh, each other out uh, or like this. But, but uh, uh, they are very, very, very. Uh, they are um, uh, a good guy because they uh, try to help you in every moment and uh, the same of the professor. Uh, and uh, my class uh, are all in English, and uh, I have just one course is a uh, Turkish language. But you know, just a few a few words. Um, and uh, uh, I can say just this because uh, for me it's different. Thank you. Um, I studied mechanical engineering. Thank you to 
everyone. Uh, I want to thank you to the Erasmus student and to, to you to be here for our session. So now we waiting for a new guest and I hope you enjoy this time. Thank you. Before 
switching to become a dominating hitter and passer. His versatility became a special trademark in run to becoming a multi-talented hitter, excellent passer, and one of the greatest all-around performers of his era. Lorenzo competed in three Olympic Games, the first coming in 1988 at the age of 20. However, the ninth place finish at the Seoul Games was not expected after Italy earned a bronze medal at the 1984 Olympic Games. Behind Lorenzo's added experience, Italy regrouped in the following Olympic quadrennial with gold medals at the 1989 European Championship and the 1990 FIBB World Championship. In addition, the Italians claimed the silver medal at the 1989 FIBB World Cup. Lorenzo was named the most valuable player of the 1992 FIBB World League after the Italians won the event for the third time in a row. With its success leading up to the 1992 Olympic Games, Italy was among the favorites to reach the medal podium in Barcelona. Behind Lorenzo's performance, Italy started the Barcelona Games with four straight Pool A victories before falling to the United States in four sets. During the quarterfinal round, Netherlands topped Italy in a hard-fought five-set match. Italy bounced back with straight sets victories over Spain and Japan to end the 1992 Olympic Games with a fifth-place finish. Lorenzo was named the best player of the 1994 FIBB World Championship after Italy captured the gold medal for the second consecutive time. In 1995, Italy captured the European Championship and the FIBB World Cup title, which qualified the squad for the 1996 Olympic Games. Lorenzo was elected the best player again for the 1995 European Championship. During Lorenzo's final Olympic Games appearance in 1996 in Atlanta, Italy won all five of its Pool B matches in straight sets. Italy continued its success with a four-set victory over Argentina in the quarterfinals, followed by a four-set semifinal victory over Serbia in Montenegro to reach its first-ever Olympic gold medal match. However, Netherlands battled to a five-set victory, leaving Italy with the silver medal in one of the most memorable Olympic contests in history. After not playing for Italy in its bronze medal finish at the 2000 Olympic Games, Lorenzo returned to the team to assist the squad with a silver medal at the 2001 European Championship. Overall, Lorenzo competed 306 times for Italy in international competition. In 2001, Lorenzo was selected as the co-FIBB Volleyball Player of the Century in 2001, along with Volleyball Hall of Fame member Karch Kirai. Lorenzo played all but one year in Italy, starting with Padova in the 1984-85 season. After his first year, he signed with Modena, where he was a central figure for the club from 1985 to 1990. Lorenzo moved down to Sicily Treviso, where he stayed for over a decade, from 1990 to 2002. Lorenzo then played two seasons with Trento from 2002 to 2004 followed by a season with Maserata in 2004 and 5. Lorenzo was part of nine Italian league championship teams to cement his legendary status in his home country. After a year playing for Olympiakos Piraeus in Greece during the 2005-2006 season, he returned to play for Verona in the Italian league for the 2005-2007 seasons finishing his playing career with Monte Chiari in 2008. During the 2010-2011 season, Lorenzo took over as head coach of the Polish club Jastrzemski Weigel, leading it to a fourth place finish in the CEB Champions League. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome co-FIBB Volleyball Player of the Century, Lorenzo Bernardi into the Volleyball Hall of Fame.
addition to this video, we should say that the, as a coach of Hasan, it, it won the Turkish National Cup this year, and they were the semi-finalists in the Champions League, and they finalists, in, and they finished the first uh, league season of Turkish Volleyball League. So thank you once again being here with us. And uh, now I would like to give the floor to you uh, with the question of uh, how your career started when you were a child, maybe. Did you uh, decide to become a volleyball player or maybe uh, it just happened? I don't know. First of all, thanks a lot for the invitation. For me, it's, uh, I am very proud and a big honor to be here. Uh, also because I am one guest. I say a lot of time that even if I am the coach of Albac, I am the guest of this country. And for me, it was one very, very important chance to, to know also the, the culture of this country, the culture of the people, to know new people. Because I think that with the sport, uh, we have uh, a lot of times the chance to meet, uh, to switch, to change the, our idea with a lot of people, with a lot of players, with a lot of my colleagues, like, uh, like uh, coaches. And, and so for me, it's, uh, I am very proud to be one guest of one country like the Turkish. When I started my career, uh, first of all, I want to say also thanks about my presentation. But uh, like always, I want to to remain one very important thing for me. Uh, that if I could won a lot of things, not only gold medal, but also individual uh, awards, because in all the competition that I played, I could won the the best player. Of, of this competition, like in the World Championship, in the European Championship, in the World League, in the Olympic Games, and in 2001, the FIVB gave to me the, the award like a player of the century, is not only, but more for one reason, because I could play with amazing teammates, because for sure alone it's impossible to win. And I like to remain this uh, this idea, because uh, when I was a child, uh, I started, I started to to swim. I didn't thought to be a volleyball player, but after two years, I understood immediately that I I need one one team sport, one team for for play with some person close to me, not to be in one swimming pool and swimming for two hours, three hours, four hours a day alone. And uh, the, my brother played, he already played volleyball, and I started to go in the gym to, to see the game, to watch the game, to nothing special. But probably it was something inside me, and it was one, one love immediately with this sport. And uh, for sure everything survived very quickly, very easy, and step by step. In, in two years I was in the first league. And, uh, and then uh, I started to be a professional player, even, even if in Italy, like the regulation, we are not professional. So, uh, as a player and as a coach, uh, if you compare the Italian sports culture and Turkish sports culture, for example, in aspects of uh, the clubs, club management, maybe spectators, the media, what do you see as difference or similarities? So, could you get used to the Turkish maybe sport culture easily, or was it hard for you? But well, I think that uh, we have to make two very important differences because uh, now in Italy the volleyball is very famous, is very important. The players are almost pro everybody are professional. They make only this, we can say, job even if for me it's not one job, because it's one sport. But when I started to be player, when I started to play in the first Liga, a lot of players, they worked in the morning, and also in the afternoon, and then they practice in the night, or after the, after the work. For sure, the, the, our sport was very poor. The, our sport was 
not famous, uh, also for the TV, for the media, for the newspaper. We haven't so big space very often. And the game wasn't live in the TV, but uh, we could see, we could watch the, the game when we already know the score. Then uh, arrived in Italy one very important and famous coach in the world that was uh, Julio Velasco. And he came in the, in the our team, in the, my team, because uh, I was in Modena. Modena was the, I can say that the mother of the volleyball in the world. And uh, he has uh, one idea. He has one project, he has one idea, he has one philosophy. He has uh, some very clear, important, and sometimes also strong rules. And he tried to, to make uh, everything inside one team that we was in Modern. And we won for Liga, for Champions, Italian Champions in Europe. But even for this situation, the volleyball wasn't so important. The Federation in the 90s, they, they called him. They said uh, that uh, he has to be the coach of the Italian national team. He accepted. And he, he tried to change also the culture, the philosophy, the, the idea of the Italian national team. And he was very good and he was very great because we, in this way, we started to win. Uh, in this time, we, we was uh, for sure outside. It was one, the big surprise, because nobody, nobody thought that we can, take, we can take so important score. Before the 90, the position, the ranking of the Italian national team was around 15, 18, 13, but never in the first place or inside the, the semi-final, the four, uh, four teams of the tournament. And uh, we think with one very important group of players, we create one amazing team, for sure. Also this team in, 2000, in 2001 won the team of the century. And here I can say that in the 90, when we won the first European Championship, the culture of the Italian the, the volleyball in Italy changed completely. I like to do very often one example. Now try to imagine one train, one old train that is stopped in one station from 15 years. It's impossible to move. That one group of persons starting to push, to push, to push, to push, until this train starting. And this train arriving to, to travel, I don't know, three, four hundred kilometers per hour. This kind of person, for sure, they know what is the, the things, the rules, what they have to do for move this train. For the people that came inside this train, when this train already is very fast, it's not so easy to recognize. It's not so easy understood the effort that we had to do. I think that here in Turkish for help one very very important culture is that we everybody have to pass from this time. Because now here everything is perfect. The contract of the player is amazing. Uh, the, the federation is important. The, they have uh, very important and very nice team. They have everything, but they not not they don't know. They don't know what we must do for change this culture, for keep these things very important. Because I'm not here for say that the contract has to be less or the gym has to be smaller. No, absolutely not. But keep these important things and in the same way change what we have to change for to be in the first place of the ranking, for to be in the first play, place in the ranking in the Champions League, in the European Championship before, for them starting to thinking about the European World Championship, Olympic Games, World League, and something like this.
For sure, we cannot think in that for have a good score, we have to wait that something arrives to us. This is impossible. We have to go, to find, to take, to run it, to work, because nothing will arrive for nothing or for one in case. a very good explanation and a very good sample because sometimes people can think that a magic stick will come and touch and then everything will change but this is not at least this is not how it is in sports so uh, thank you yeah, yeah. The, the also you asked to me before about the the spectators the yeah. media uh, in Italy we have in Italy, around uh, 85, 86, 84, 83, the, our gym was empty or almost empty. The newspaper, nobody brought in the newspaper some news about the volleyball. Or in the last two pages, there is one page like this. The volleyball is, there was the scores yes, for sure. Then we won everything with the national team because the most important thing in one country is the national team. If the national team is important, the sport is important. If the national team is, and there is also here one very important example. Huh? The woman volleyball here in Turkey is more important than the, the men. Why? Because the, the woman national team in Turkey is important. Is strong. They was champion in Europe. This is the step that we have to do with the men. This is one focus that we must have. Because without, we, without one project, without one focus, we cannot have some important score. For sure, it's impossible. Or I will be crazy if I start to say that the Turkish national team can win the next European Championship or the next Olympic Games. No, for sure. Because like everybody, like everybody, uh, everybody, we must do one project, step by step, years by years. We have, to, we have to check the new generation, we have to check the union national team, the youth national team, not starting to think in that we must have whole in one month. This is impossible. But with one idea, with one project, with one... with passion, if we really want to change something, we can change something. If we don't want, or if we think that it's too hard, nothing will change. And this is what the, our idea when I played with the Italian national team. Because I remember when, when we played with the national team in the 89, when Velasco spoke without about, about his idea, about his rules, I think that we, we look him like a crazy man, like some person that what you say is possible that we can write this, this. And after a few months, uh, we was in the final and we was uh, champion in, in the European Championship in Stockholm. But uh, for a ride to do, we need to feel inside that we want really to do and change. Yeah. As a contribution to this, said women volleyball in Turkey has much interest because uh, of the success of the national team. I can say that, for example, in Ankara, we have about 40 different clubs just for girls and maybe seven or eight clubs just for men. So this is the potential. You know, if you have success, then the interest of the public comes and then you have a wide range of you know, young players to choose for your national team for your sport in uh, which branch, it doesn't matter, but also central volleyball. But there are some also obstacles for young generation to become, uh, let's say, professional players or top players because of the, for example, education system. So uh, in Turkey, let's say in probably tomorrow or in a couple of days, we have an important test for eight class students. So. When a family uh, 
comes to this, this point and needs to make a decision about the future of their children, uh, they have to compare the sports or the education. So it sometimes seems that you cannot go together. Uh, how about this in Italy, for example? Uh, is there any obstacle like this caused by the uh, education system for young generation? Maybe during your teenage years or for now maybe? But I think that uh, it's very similar the situations because we have some problems uh, for sure because also the education in the school very often they don't have the teenager that they want to try to start to make some sport. Uh, probably in the beginning the sport is not so so important. Uh, you're not so busy with the sport and so you can manage all the situation with the education and also with the sport. Uh, for sure when starting the time to decide if you want to be professional or maybe play, if you will play in the union team of some important player that when you started to practice every day, this is the time that uh, you can have some problems with the, with, with the education. But also in this situation, I think that it's very important that the program that one student can make for himself for sure, if you wait to study the lesson in the last moment, then you don't have the time to practice the sport. If you wait to, to study the lesson for two days, you will not study, then you don't have the time for go to play the game Saturday because we have to recover the time that we used before, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I am sure that the, if one person is very good to make one program daily or for week, you can do everything uh, until that you will start to be professionals. Then, when you start to be professionals, uh, for sure you have to take one decision. Uh, the, the normal school or the high school is completely different from the university. And the university, uh, for, for example, in Italy, in the university you have the chance, more chance for make one play also for you inside the university. And in the same way, you can practice with the team where you can try to have one career. For example, when I started to be a professional player, I decided to play and not to continue to the study. Even I, if I make some, some examination in the university, but then I stopped it because I thought that I have to put only the, my energy, only the, my power here because I won't, I won't try to be. But in the same way, I say to myself, you have two years. If in these two years you are not one player that can think about his career in the volleyball, you have to come back and you have to start in the but about the program, about the play, in <coughs> until you will finish the high school, I am almost sure that with one good playing, with one good idea, like you have to organize the day and the week, you can do both things. In university, can be a little, a little more hard, but because when you will sign the contract with the club, you have to practice a lot of days, two times a day, and. Uh, not thinking that when you have rest, you, you can start to, to study because you have to rest, you have to travel. There is a lot of competition. Uh, some week you are uh, away for all the week, so it's not so easy. But uh, before the university, for sure. And I think that when when you have the, the age for starting to study university, you can understand also if you can be a professional player. So actually, we are. Uh, very used to Italian coaches in Turkish volleyball leagues, both for men and women. So uh, maybe now more than six coaches are in the leagues. Uh, do you think that maybe in the future Turkish players can also participate in the Italian clubs, in the Italian leagues? Do you, do you think that any uh, any uh, signs for this for Turkish players? But not in the future. I, I am sure that some player 
they already can play in some other country. But I'm not so sure if they want. Yeah. This is the point. Because about what I said before, here they have everything. And for sure, uh, like you can imagine, no? if one team of uh, another country, they try to keep one foreigner, they try to keep the foreigner that, they, that have one important uh, palmarès, that have one important uh, uh, career, and, uh, and so for sure they cannot pay. This is the main problem. Because when you're starting to speak with the players, this is the main problem, the contract, the money. You know? If you want to go in Italy, or you will accept what they offer, but you cannot ask the same money that you have here in Turkey, for example. Why? Because in Italy play the most important player in the world. So this, this is one thing that I suggest to a lot of players here in Turkey, you have to go away. For sure, you will increase your culture, your level, uh, your uh, spirit, your your idea. For sure, one hundred percent. Also, because when you have the, ch the chance to to switch, to speak, and to live different situation, it's very important. You will be adult very quickly. You will be not old, but you will have a new, new experience, a lot of experience, very quickly. And this was exactly the same for me when I started to be a coach, because I started to be a coach almost immediately away, because I was for four years in Poland. When you have to live in another country, where you, where you have to live inside different idea, different religion, different culture, different uh, food, different, a lot of things. Or you survive or you will die. <laughs> this is the, the situation. And I am sure that there are some Turkish players that they can already play in a way. But like I said before, I'm not so sure that they really want. Actually, the mentality is the same, I can see sports and education because we are trying to promote the students to go abroad just for these reasons actually maybe you can have less grades but you will definitely have more experience than in your own country so this is why the Erasmus program exists or the other exchange program programs exist so we are pushing students to go abroad maybe uh, you will have less grades maybe you won't be in the top ranking of students but the experience you obtain you get will be definitely very high uh, as you see this is also valid uh, for sports so continue from this for example what do you miss or what uh, for example you wish that you also had here in turkey which you had in italy so while working abroad in italy in, so in turkey or in poland so what makes you want it? But uh, uh, I think that for every coach it's very important and the, my, not dreams, but the, my idea is, uh, the, my focus is try to arrive that the team has the mentality of the coach. Uh, in Poland it uh, was uh, not easy, but easier for sure, uh, for one simple reason. Uh, the volleyball in Poland is one, like one religion. They was champion in the Olympic Games in Montreal in '76. They was uh, they already was uh, champion in the World Championship uh, 40 years ago. They won the last World Championship the previous summer, uh, and was a little more easy. And this is the main focus also to try to make the, the our team here in, in Ankara with this mentality with this philosophy. It's not easy. It's not easy for sure. And we need the time also. But uh, I think that step by step uh, probably if one we have to change something years by years 
month by month, maybe we will arrive to this focus and we will miss some person during the road. But uh, the focus has to be one, and everybody has to work in for this. Then we will see if we are good or not to arrive, and then we will see how many persons can arrive also to this focus. Because sometimes we have to change some person, sometimes we have to put outside some person, sometimes we have to bring other person, sometimes we have to bring some other foreigner or not. But the idea that the focus, the, the more great things for one coach is, is for sure that the team will play with the mentality of the coach. Now, because the coach is not uh, the, the actor, the, the protagonist of the, the, the game, but has to be one person that make one, one sign, one, one picture. questions so far our audiences. Uh, if you would like to forward any questions to Signor Bernardi. Thank you very much. Mr. Sorzo Bernardi, welcome to Turkey first of all. I see you for the first time uh, in activity life. So uh, I'm very happy to, to talk to you and it's a Big honor, great honor to see you and talk with you. Uh, in in 1996, it was my my first trip to Italy, really, and I was in Italy for three three, three weeks. And in, in Italy, I was uh, in a street, and I, I was shocked. I I saw something. People were with, uh, with a car listening from the radio a volleyball match. It's impossible in Turkey from radio. You cannot see people listening from radio, the volleyball match. And it was uh, Italy with Netherlands, I think. It was your uh, semi final match. And always the speaker was saying, Bernardi, Bernardi, Bernardi. <laughs> I remember very well this day. Yes. This was the final of the Olympic Games. Yes, and so we lost Little. <laughs> Uh, and it's wonderful uh, woman for me, so I'm very uh, uh, happy now to talk with you. And please uh, forgive us, there are so less people in the hall uh, that this, this hall must be full for me. Uh, I'm also a volleyball player, I also play beach volleyball, I love the game. And I say it's the game of balance, equilibrium and strength. And it, it gives too much uh, ability to children, to young, to young uh, for their uh, purposes and for, for their lives. And, uh, uh, and it, 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 Italy, I think it starts from the children age in the schools. The, their, their success, Italy has makes this uh, good. Uh, so they, they are successful both in men and women. Uh, and it, it will go on like this, uh, I think. So, uh, and in Turkey, there's some problem with men's volleyball is that uh, men volleyball is in the influence of men football, I think. Because men, women volleyball, because we do not have too much women football in Turkey, but women volleyball is very going good, but men volleyball is still in the idea of men's football. Well, it's a very different game than football, but in Turkey we have this uh, uh, big problem, uh, but Italy makes Italy is a sports country, I think. In many sports, Italy, in basketball, in swimming, in, in many sports, Italy is successful. But first of all, I'm sorry. First of all, thanks a lot. <laughs> About what, what you, you could see in Italy in the 96, it's also because you were in Italy in the middle. Because in the 96, the world of Italy was very, very famous. <laughs> Also in the 92, because also in the 92, in the Olympic game of Barcelona, we was the, the dream team for a lot of persons. Then we lost also in Barcelona. But from Barcelona 92 and Atlanta 96, all the people know the, the, volleyball, the, the, the volleyball player was very famous. And this is also the reason because you could see, you could hear from the radio the, the game of, of the volleyball. About other things, Italy is exactly the same. The, the, the person 
they follow more, 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 more the football. Then there are the basketball, not because not because the the Italian national team of basketball is so good, but because in the world there is one what do you have to say in English, one so big important <coughs> tournament like the NBA that everybody follow. No? Also here uh, until yesterday it was in Mets in Adana and in the hotel all the TV in all TV there was live the semi-final, the final, the quarter of the NBA championship. And for this reason the basketball will be very famous in all the world. But not only for the national team of the country, but because there is one very important thing, one very important uh, challenge with this this kind of player, with this kind of tournament, like the NBA. Uh, about the, the difference that there is between women and men uh, is also not so difficult to understand. Uh, for one girl, for one child, it's for one woman, the volleyball is sweet. You don't have a contact. You play inside one gym, no? and for one baby, it's more easy. No? Also for the parents, it's more easy to bring his daughter in one gym. It's hot, no rain, no? it's not so bad. And for sure, the, the players are more women than men, even in Italy. The, the boys, if they can, they take one ball and they go in the middle of the road for football. For sure, because they can see the, in the TV the most important Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, Ibrahimovic, Messi, and the, the football is the most famous sport in the world. Then there are some examples that there are, there are some events, there are some countries. Well, the volleyball start to be important also in the men when the national team has some important success. This is the most, the, this is the most important, important thing, for sure. So, to your speech, I was in your last Kazan match, 3 2, you have won. I shouted a lot in that match that I still. Uh, like your team, Hawkman is a very good team of Hawkman, so thank you very much. Himself, they can be champion. For example, in one tournament like in La Liga, there are one team that is champion only if they will win the Liga. There are other, the other team that they can be champion if they will arrive to their focus. And the focus can be to stay in the Liga. The focus can be five place, six place, seven place, doesn't matter. This is important because. For me, it's one big mistake if the people thinking about the sport only sport is first place, sport is gold medal, sport is Olympic Games. No, the sport is first of all the sport is education. First of all, the sport is one way 
that I hope almost everybody, but if not everybody, more people is possible that can move his body. And this is also very important. But if you're starting to be also professional, it's important that you must have very clear in the head that there isn't only one gentleman. I was lucky because I could play three Olympic games. And for us, for example, for us, the first Olympic games for us was one amazing success. Can play in the Olympic games. I can say that I saw I don't know how many thousand athletes inside the Olympic village, and I can I think that I can say. The